If you're an Algebra 2 student, you might find my website, wildmouth.org, might be a little bit more useful and easier to manage around and, and see videos than my YouTube channel, Rob World. Now, uh, here's how my website kind of works. If you click on it, you get to here. This is my front page. You can click right here. This is a picture of my textbook. It's an Algebra 2 textbook, 2008, Prentice Hall. If you have the same book, this website is going to be very, very useful to you. If you don't have the same book, you have to kind of figure things out a little bit more. Uh, but uh, if you have the same book, it's going to be really nice. Anyway, so you can click on these practice tests and, and stuff right here. You could, or you can simply click up here on Algebra 2. So let's click on Algebra 2 up here. Boom. Algebra 2, right here is just information about my class. You probably don't care about that unless you're in my class. And then if you go over here to Notes and Videos, we click on that, what you'll see here is all the chapters of my textbook. Here's my chapters. If you click here, it goes to the YouTube videos for those particular chapters. School server, don't worry about that. You have to be at my school to do that. And Notes, it, it, it's pretty nice. So watch what happens right here. If I click on Notes, say we're going to talk about the, the exponent log chapter. If I click on Notes, what happens when I click on that is you see all the notes. You can simply scroll through this and see all my notes in order. You can just look at them all. And basically, I have videos of every single note. So if you basically look through this, you go, okay, mm -hmm, looking at it, looking at it. You go, wait, I don't understand what's happening here. You can find the video for this. And the way you look for it is this A4. And since this is page two, this will be page one, which I call this A4, probably A. And a video for like this would be A4B. And so you can look it up in my videos um, for these particular things if you can't understand it by just looking at it. And so basically it's a whole chapter of notes all in one little nice PDF. But uh, also what you have is you can also just uh, click right here. Like say, okay, I'm going to go straight to it. So you got all the notes right there. You can click right here. Boom. It takes you down. Basically it scrolls down. And what you got here is the uh, chapter 8 videos right here. Um, you have down here are the pictures of those notes. For instance, if I click on that, there's the notes. Um, like I showed you earlier, except the, the, the earlier one had a document of all of it in one big, huge PDF. And uh, then if you click right here, you simply have a video that pops up. And I'll pause it. And you can like choose the videos by watching like this. See how it changes on the bottom. You click right here, and then you can keep choosing. And you can click right here again. Basically, you can choose the video you want this way. Hit here to enlarge it. Um, so you can basically use this player, or you can simply click here, go to YouTube, and watch them on YouTube. The playlist, that's fine. The key is I have the notes, and it's nice and organized, a little bit more detail here for you, so it could help. So if you just scroll back up, all the way up, <laughs> up, 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 here's all the chapters again. YouTube link, there's the notes. Don't worry about school server. This is going to be my major page that can help you. If you want to go straight to my YouTube channel, bam, hit my YouTube channel, which could help a lot of you. Um, now, uh, practice tests, if you click on practice tests, you can see some practice tests per chapter. You click on, say, this one right here, you click on that, and here's a practice test. If you scroll to the bottom, I will have the answers to the practice test, bam. So you can print this off or you do practice tests for a particular section, which could also help a lot of you. Okay, these are actual the test dates I give, but these are just practice tests. You click on. Now this right here, sorry, let's go back. Assignments, you probably need to worry about that. This blue book doesn't make much sense to anybody unless you are my student. But benchmarks. Benchmarks are little standards made by uh, California standards. They're, they're little quizzes, basically, based on California standards. So what they are the benchmarks. So let's look at the uh, first semester benchmarks. If I click right here on page one, here's what it looks like. A benchmark one is, this is standard one of the California math standards that dealing with absolute values. And then you have these absolute two problems, and here's the answers. Then you have benchmark 2A, which is systems of equations. And what you see is you have a whole 2A, 2B. You have a whole, if you keep looking at this, you have these numbers, 2A, 2B, benchmarks. What are benchmarks? It might confuse you. Benchmarks are basically topics, and the number of the benchmark is based on the California mathematics standards. So if your school is from California, and you have standards, and you go by standards, my benchmarks correlate perfectly to them, and they might be very, very useful for California students. Okay. Now, that was a picture of my benchmarks. I have a whole bunch of them. Um, like, for instance, here's page two of it. And uh, you see 
2c, 2d, 2e, these are all systems of equations, and so forth. But with that said, these are the answers. You can click here for the document if you just want a document that uh, you can fill in with these answers to practice. Um, but uh, yeah, if we scroll down here, um, here's the videos for all my benchmarks. Again, my benchmarks, benchmark one means standard one. So here's the benchmark and here's practice. So there are basically two videos for every benchmark. <laughs> there's a notes and there's a practice. And then you have second semester right here, notes and practice. Videos, you just click on those or you can go straight to YouTube and see my videos. The reason I'm talking to you about these benchmarks is a lot of people don't watch my benchmark videos because they don't know what the heck is this. It might make more sense if you understand they fit the California standards by the number on the benchmark. So that could be very useful. Plus, if you click right here on, on, on this link or, or this link, um, if you take the, the STAR test or the CST, this link could be, sorry, this is the CST practice. Let me get rid of that. If you click right here, what you'll get is a whole bunch of practice benchmarks. I actually have practice benchmarks you can take. For instance, click on that. And there's a nice little practice benchmark online test you could take. And here's all the videos nice and organized. You can see the standards all nice and neatly written out. So you also have that available. Um, let's see, click back to here. So that was under benchmarks. It might be a little confusing, but I would hope some of you can use my benchmarks for specific standards. Otherwise, the most useful will probably be this section because it's by chapter in which most of you, that's how you're going to find things. Now, one more thing. If you want all my notes, all these videos, um, if you want the packet of my notes, watch this. If you hit, say, second semester, if you click right here, what happens is these are the notes I fill out. All my videos are based upon this packet of notes. So if you print off this packet of notes, you can fill in your own notes from the videos. So if you want a blank copy to fill in, because my students have a blank copy that we fill in in class. So it's kind of nice like that. Anyway, so you might want to click on those. Those could also help you. Um, one last thing, if we go back to our home page, for those of you again who take the STAR test, CST, let's click on this real quick. Here's what I mean by standards. Here's the California standards. Here's the name of it. Boom. What they are. Say, Calif um, standard, say, 17. Given a quadratic equation, blah, blah, blah. And what happens is, I don't have any stuff for this one in particular, but let's say for this one, benchmark 18. I have a practice quiz. Uh, sorry, I have release question quizzes that are released by California. And then I have some practi a practice quiz right here. And then I have two videos of it. So if you want to go by standards, I have all the standards with videos, practice, and everything by the standards right here on this page. So this could be a very good page to look at as well. And uh, again, that page is right here where it says standards. Here you go to my practice test. Here you go to my notes and videos. So if you don't want to go click on this, you get straight from the front page, you can get to it. Hopefully this helps. Hopefully my website could be very useful to any Algebra 2 student. And if my YouTube channel is useful, if you click on this, my YouTube channel, here it is, bam. If you want to go, for instance, click on here, and then you want to go to my Algebra 2 notes and find them by chapters, that, that totally works. Use my channel or whatever you want. I'm just thinking my website, this website could be very useful for some of you. Use it if you want. Good luck in your Algebra 2 classes.